Hi there, here is the 55 inch Sony Bravia X90H LED TV. Now this is where Sony takes it to the next level. It comes with full array backlight and 100Hz refresh rate. For those who are confused, full array backlight has zones of LED lights that can be independently lit. Basically more realistic contrast by making light areas lighter and dark areas darker. Then with 100Hz refresh rate, buttery smooth viewing experience, especially for those sports channels and gaming. Can't wait to check it out, so let's quickly unbox it and have a quick look. But before we begin, a huge shout out to my friend and one of my earliest subscriber, Dhruv Shankar, for giving us the opportunity to show this TV to you guys. So, if this is your first time here, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend texting. let's get started. So here is the retail box of the TV. On the side it's mentioned 4K HDR, full array LED, X1 4K HDR processor, Android TV, the size and the model number X90H. On the side are the manufacturing details and the MRP. Fun thing to notice is the month and year of manufacturing is January 2021. Couldn't be more newer. So I'm unboxing the unit, but I would highly recommend you wait for the technician to come and install it for you to prevent damage. Inside the box is a user manual, a power cord, batteries for the remote, wall mounting screws, the remote. Now this is a Bluetooth slash infrared remote. It has shortcut keys for Netflix and Google Play mic button to use the Google Voice Assistant and some regular buttons. It's made of plastic and has a slim and easy to use. And here are the stands, one of the most solid stands I've seen. Metal obviously, matte grey finish and very well built. It has a blade design and look extremely premium, truly impressive. Coming to the design, frankly the bezels aren't the thinnest but not thick either. They have an aluminium metal edge and give it a very nice feel. The back is made of polycarbonate and has this amazing raw finish with Bravia branding on the right. The good thing is all the ports are on the side and they're easy to reach even if the TV is wall mounted. Two USB ports out of which one is USB 3.0, optical, headphone jack, AV input, four HDMI 2.1 ports with support 4K video up to 120fps, HDMI 3 also supports eARC, Ethernet and antenna. The build quality of the device is second to none, just brilliant. So we have wall mounted the device, let's turn it on and set it up. Meanwhile, a quick glance at the specifications. 4K D-LED VA panel, full array backlight, supports local dimming, 100Hz refresh rate, HDMI 2.1 with eARC support, 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage which can be expanded if needed. Apple TV built-in with Apple Kit for AirPlay, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support and 20 watt base reflex speakers. And there we go, we set up and logged in. We see the Android TV interface, the app row on the top and the content row below. So I have to tell you this is that it's so fluid. This is where Sony aces it. Fluidity, well optimized, it's amazing. So let's go to the settings, see the Android version number and it's running Android 9 Pi. However, I would have loved to see Android 10, which I think we will get with an update soon. So anyway, coming back, we go to the apps row, we see we have Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube, Apple TV, yes. So this variant of the Sony TV comes with the Apple TV pre-installed, which means you have access to tons of content from the Apple TV store. Also, you won't need to separately buy an Apple TV box. So it is already integrated, which is great. Let's go to the app launcher and we have Netflix, Prime Videos, TV, Sony Select, which we will dive into in just a moment. We have YouTube. Then you have TV controls set up with Amazon Alexa. So you can go to the Alexa app and in the skills, you can add the Sony Bravia skill and you can control your TV with the voice. Then you have help app, timer, media player to play files locally. Notify Bravia, Internet Browser, Music and Apple TV. I'm really excited to see Apple TV coming pre-installed on the new Sony TV. Alright, we'll just dive into the Google Play Store. And you have tons of content to download directly from here. 
then you have games lots of games available here some games will work with the remote while some would need a gamepad going back let's go into the settings display and sound you have picture so you can change the picture settings from here standard cinema depending on your preference of what you're using it for i rather keep it at standard further down you have auto picture mode you have light sensor which will optimize brightness depending on the light in the room then the color clarity motion so this is basically motion flow is memc so it's by default it's turned to auto you can custom set it or you can even turn it off so i recommend you keep this on auto further down you have network accounts apps device preferences if you go in here you can see the sound settings storage so this tv also comes with apple airplay built in which means you can mirror your iphone or ipad directly to the tv without installing any third party apps and it works really well show you a demo so you take your iphone go to the control center look for screen mirroring to see your tv's name click on it and your phone will mirror to the tv and as you can see it's actually quite smooth there might be a slight delay but there is no lag it works really seamlessly and we also tested an android phone and it also mirrors perfectly fine there is a slight delay and lag here but it's workable though you can play a video on your phone and mirror it to the tv and it works pretty well actually there might be a slight delay but trust me it's pretty viewable since it's an android tv we also get chromecast so you can cast videos from supported apps to the sony tv all right enough details let's watch a video and see the performance so here is a 4k hdr video playing on youtube and man it looks stunning the clarity and the detail are amazing crisp and sharp the motion smoothing is set to auto and you can see each frame however it might be a little hard to notice when you're recording a display with a camera but it's smooth as silk and also thanks to the 100 hertz refresh rate the x1 image processor is handling the color and dynamic range extremely well you can truly see the difference when the panel has a full array led and with local dimming zones blacks never looked so deep not only that different shades of black that you can actually notice blacks look darker and light things look even brighter perfect optimization of local dimming the colors are set to standard in the settings and overall look natural yet with a hint of vividness very sony like i'd say now since this is a va panel and viewing angles are usually not the best with them but surprisingly the difference was almost indistinguishable unless you're sitting totally off it won't affect your viewing experience the panel's output and performance screams just one word quality with full array back led local dimming with sony picture experience the sony x90h is a clear winner in the display department it also comes with dolby vision support as you can see on the left we have the dolby vision logo played content on it and it looked perfect like this is what dolby vision was meant to be the sony bravia x90h also comes with netflix calibrated mode this mode is specially developed to enjoy netflix originals and reproduce the same picture quality on the tv as on a studio master file the os is also extremely well optimized quickly opens apps and super snappy interface it's a joyride all the way it also has the notify bravia app which integrates with your android phone and you can receive call notifications on the tv screen which when you're watching might come very handy it also comes with bluetooth support to connect your favorite pair of wireless headphones or home theater system also tested What's the, the google voice mind? assistant ask for the weather or just ask it to open apps open and it works flawlessly okay all right let's finally experience the sound Wow, that was amazing. So the sound is actually brilliant from these 20 watt speakers. True example of not watts but quality of speakers matter. Sony calls this the bass reflex speakers and they do provide a decent amount of bass as well. 
But still, I would recommend a soundbar for this TV. The sound though good, but a soundbar would actually do full justice to this amazing experience from this TV. Also, the TV supports Dolby Atmos, so all the more a reason to get a Dolby Atmos supported soundbar. So I currently don't have a gaming console handy, but if you're looking for a TV for gaming and are willing to spend that little extra, then this is the one you should consider. The 55-inch Sony Bravia X98 Smart TV is priced at 1,5,000. And there is also a 65-inch variant with the exact same specs for 1,51,000. I'll leave the buying links of both in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.